Listen to this. Proverbs 27, 17 says, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Now what if I told you that the same principle applies to our personal growth and motivation? Intriguing, isn't it? We've all been there trying to stay on track, striving to reach our goals, and yet somehow we find ourselves veering off course. We become our own biggest critics, comparing ourselves to others and focusing on external factors that we believe are holding us back. But what if we've been looking at motivation from the wrong angle? Here's a fresh perspective for you, choosing your enemies wisely. Yes, you heard that right. Instead of focusing on the external, why not turn inward? Why not identify the personal obstacles that are standing in your way? It's a twist, isn't it? Rather than viewing these obstacles as barriers to your success, consider them as your personal enemies. These enemies could be self-doubt, procrastination, or fear of failure. They are the iron that sharpens our resolve, the friction that ignites our determination. Recognize these enemies, confront them, challenge them. By doing so, you're not giving them power over you. Quite the contrary, you're harnessing their power to drive you towards success. So when you're feeling unmotivated, don't look outside for inspiration. Don't seek validation or comparison. Look within, identify your enemies, choose them wisely, because these enemies, once confronted and challenged, can actually become your greatest allies. This is a new perspective on motivation. It's about transformation. It's about taking what seems to be negative and turning it into a positive driving force. Remember, your enemies could be self-doubt, procrastination, or fear of failure. It's time to choose them wisely, because as you'll discover in our next scenes, they may just be the key to unlocking your full potential. As the scripture says, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Ephesians 6.12 now let's take a moment to digest that. It's a powerful statement, isn't it? It's telling us that our real battles, the ones that truly matter, are not against other people, but against the unseen forces around, and most importantly, within us. These are our personal obstacles, or as we like to call them, our enemies. You see, often our biggest enemies are not external. They are not your boss, your neighbor, or that guy at the gym who always seems to be lifting just a little bit more than you. No, your biggest enemies are those internal adversaries like self-doubt, procrastination, and the fear of failure. They are the ones holding you back, silently sabotaging your efforts to achieve your dreams. Let me share a personal story. Once upon a time, I was a master procrastinator. I could find a hundred reasons not to do something, especially if it was challenging or uncomfortable. I'd tell myself, I'll start tomorrow, or I'm not ready yet. But as the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, I realized that tomorrow never came, and I was never ready. Procrastination, my enemy, had me in its grip. But then, I decided to confront this enemy. I started with small tasks, things that I could accomplish quickly. Instead of saying, I'll do it later, I began saying, I'll do it now. Slowly but surely, I started to break free from the chains of procrastination. It was a struggle. Yes, but every victory, no matter how small, gave me the confidence to take on bigger challenges. The same goes for other personal enemies like self-doubt and fear of failure. These are not just obstacles, they are opportunities for growth. When you doubt your abilities, remind yourself of your past accomplishments. When you fear failure, remember that every setback is a setup for a comeback. Identifying these enemies is crucial because only then can you begin to overcome them. You can't defeat an enemy you don't acknowledge. So, take some time to reflect. What are your enemies? Is it fear of stepping out of your comfort zone? Is it the need for perfection that keeps you from trying new things? Or is it the negative self-talk that drowns out your dreams? Remember, these enemies are not there to defeat you. They are there to teach you, to shape you, and to propel you towards your goals. So don't shy away from them. Embrace them. Challenge them. Conquer them. As the saying goes, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well, in this case, what doesn't defeat you makes you a champion. So my friends, acknowledge your enemies. Recognize them for what they are, stepping stones on your path to success. Because once you do, you'll find that they are not so scary after all. Acknowledge your enemies. They are the first step towards your success.
Remember, what you resist, persists. This wisdom, often attributed to the psychologist Carl Jung, rings true when it comes to harnessing the power of your inner enemies. Once you've identified these personal obstacles, they can be transformed into sources of motivation. The power of this process lies in the act of embracing struggle. When you're tempted to give in to self-doubt, procrastination, or fear of failure, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. But what if we shift our perspective? Instead of viewing these enemies as roadblocks, why not see them as challenges to be overcome? Consider this. A lump of coal under pressure becomes a diamond. Similarly, the pressure you face from your inner enemies can shape you into a stronger, more resilient person. When you confront these adversaries, you're not just overcoming obstacles, you're also building character and resilience. Let's take the example of self-doubt. It's something that we all grapple with at some point. But when you acknowledge it, face it, and challenge it, you're not just defeating self-doubt. You're also building confidence and self-belief. And these are the qualities that will drive you towards success, time, and time again. Or consider procrastination, another common enemy. It can be easy to put off tasks to avoid the discomfort of starting. But when you confront this adversary, you're teaching yourself discipline and perseverance. You're learning to prioritize your long-term goals over short-term comfort. And every time you choose action over inaction, you're taking a step towards success. There's a beautiful scripture that encapsulates this idea, Romans 5, verse 3 to 4. It says, Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. What this tells us is that struggle isn't something to be avoided. Rather, it's a catalyst for growth, a stepping stone on the path to success. And when we embrace this struggle, we're not just overcoming our enemies, we're transforming them into allies. I'll share a personal experience. I used to fear public speaking. The thought of standing in front of a crowd would send me into a panic. But I recognized this fear as an enemy standing in the way of my goals. So, I confronted it. I joined a public speaking club, practiced relentlessly, and gradually, my fear started to diminish. Today, I can confidently say that my fear has transformed into a passion for communication and connection. So, the next time you're feeling unmotivated, remember this. Your enemies aren't here to defeat you. They're here to teach you, to shape you, to drive you. They're your personal trainers, pushing you towards your goals. Your enemies can become your greatest allies. Embrace the struggle. In the words of Romans 8.28, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. This is a powerful reminder that even our struggles, our personal enemies, can be turned to our advantage when we align our purpose with that of our Creator. Imagine for a moment a sculptor working on a piece of marble. The sculptor doesn't see the marble as an enemy. Rather, he sees it as a challenge, an opportunity to create something beautiful. Each strike of the chisel, each moment of effort, brings the sculptor closer to revealing the masterpiece within. Similarly, our personal enemies, be it self-doubt, procrastination, or fear of failure, can be seen not as roadblocks, but as stepping stones, leading us closer to our potential. Let's consider the story of Thomas Edison. Edison was not a man without enemies. His biggest enemy was arguably his own tenacity. He was known for his relentless pursuit of success, often to the point of exhaustion. But instead of allowing this enemy to defeat him, Edison harnessed its power. He once said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. His relentless pursuit eventually led to the invention of the light bulb, forever changing the world. Or take the example of Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln faced numerous enemies throughout his life, including depression, loss, and countless political adversaries. But instead of succumbing to these challenges, he used them as fuel, propelling him forward on his path to becoming one of the most revered presidents in American history. The key here is not to let your enemies define you, but rather to define your enemies. Recognize them, confront them, and then use them to your advantage. Don't see them as the opposition, but as the opposition that's necessary for your growth and success. But remember, this is not a journey you have to take alone. As it says in Isaiah 41.10, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. 
I will strengthen you and help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is with you, ready to provide strength and guidance as you confront your enemies and unlock your full potential. This inward-focused approach to motivation is not about ignoring the world around you. It's about understanding that the real battle, the real journey, is within you. It's about realizing that your most significant victories will come when you choose to confront your personal enemies, harness their power, and use them to propel you towards your goals. So, if you find yourself feeling unmotivated, remember this. Your enemies are not roadblocks on your path to success. They are stepping stones. Look within, identify your enemies, and choose them wisely. They may just be the key to unlocking your full potential. As the Apostle Paul says in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And so here we are, at the end of our journey together. We've explored a new perspective on motivation, one that's perhaps different from what you're used to. Instead of looking outward, we've turned inward. We've been We've identified our personal obstacles, our self-doubt, our procrastination, our fear of failure. We've called these obstacles our enemies. And in doing so, we've taken the first step towards choosing them wisely. But we didn't stop there. We took it one step further. We didn't just identify our enemies. We harnessed their power. We've learned to recognize that these enemies are not our downfall, but rather they are our fuel. They are the driving force that propels us towards our goals. They are the catalysts that spark our motivation and ignite our determination. And the result, we've unlocked our full potential. We've discovered that by confronting our enemies, we can transform them into our greatest allies. We've realized that by embracing the struggle, we can use it as a stepping stone towards success. So. What's next? The ball is in your court. The power is in your hands. It's time to apply this approach to your own life. Identify your enemies, choose them wisely, harness their power, unlock your full potential. And remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Now, before we part ways, I'd like to invite you to join our community. If you found this content uplifting and motivational, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You'll gain access to more inspiring videos just like this one. So friends, next time you're feeling unmotivated, remember to look within, identify your enemies, harness their power, and unlock your potential. Don't forget to subscribe for more uplifting content. And remember, the Lord is my strength and my shield, my heart trusts in Him, and He helps me. Psalm 28, 7.